Virgo, it's Mary Jo from Enchantress Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing your reading for November 2019. Neptune's going direct on the 27th. So a lot of the illusory veil and disillusionment and delusionment should be masked, that unmasked, and you see things for what they really are. So let's get right to it. Okay, that's how I am. We're starting with the Eight of Earth. So that's like the Eight of Pentacles, okay? Uh, so this is starting something new. Some of you are really starting a new job, new vocation, a trade. Maybe you're going to change your major in school or change your school. Um, this is like you've achieved a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom, and you're starting to see um, the progress that you have made in your abilities and capabilities, and you're looking for something more challenging. Um, maybe you want to make more money. Maybe you want to move from where you're living to somewhere more exciting. You want a new adventure. Um, so this is about that for you. This is about you bringing some strength and grounding stability into your life, uh, increasing your finances. Now, in the beginning, it may not be as much, but it's going to have that potential of really paying off for you. For others of you, if this is about a love relationship, and you know, you say, you know, I've been putting a lot of work into this relationship, and I wasn't really sure where it was going, if it was worth it for me. Yeah, this is this is really like seeing the the tree here on this card is showing it's 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 full, it's laden. Um, this harmonic instrument here, it, I'm not sure if that's a viola or a cello, but it's a, a beautiful instrument that's resonant, deeply resonant. And this is deeply resonant with you with this relationship with this person. You feel like, you know what? I put a lot of work into it, but I think they have as well. And I'm seeing the payoff with this person. I'm really feeling good about where we're going here. Maybe you're ready to you know, go to the next step, move in, get engaged, get married, buy a house, have a child. But this is really solidified for you, very solid energy for you with the Eight of Pentacles. You know, it's the Sun in Virgo, you know, so that's one of your cards because your cards in the Tarot are the Eight, Nine, and Ten of Pentacles, Virgo. Sun in Virgo is renewed energy. It's passion. It's, it's inspiration. It's the energy to forge ahead fearlessly. And then with you, with the Earth, it's bringing it to ground. So you know there's a sense of energy that is paying off and you're seeing the, the benefits of it. And being Virgo, your sixth house, it's your daily routine and your health. So maybe things around your life that were boring and dull and mundane, that cycle that, you know, I get up, I got to do this, I got to do this, I go to sleep, I got to get up. And it's that hamster and the wheel routine. Maybe things are changing in that circle and that cycle and the energy is becoming more grounded for you. We have all these muted colors here, you know, and somewhat tertiary colors. Um, So there could be things that you just weren't sure about and you don't like that because you like to analyze everything and perfect it and play it out, you know, like a chess game. So you didn't like that. But look, it's, it's becoming brighter here and clearer. I really feel going from November on, there's going to be some stability coming to you, maybe some more money coming in that you weren't expecting. Wouldn't that be lovely? And uh, things paying off for you. Some of you may be ready to retire or, you know, you're getting your pension um, or you're getting Social Security, there's added income or payoff from um, something you had invested in or vested in starting a business. It's starting to pay off with that business. Whatever it is, it's saying that you've got a foothold now for all the hard work you've put into this in the immediate past, all right, with this person or situation or thing. And now it's becoming harmonious for you and it's balanced and it's taking root and really growing for you. It's solid with that eight, there's that strength there. You know, and we know with Virgo, it is about um, ascertaining all the information, doing the research, and making sure this is gonna have a sustain for you. You want some sustainable income, sustainable emotional support from this person, sustainable um, balance, knowing that I'm gonna have this job, it's, it's going to be good for me, it's just not fleeting. You want something lasting, and this card for you is showing that it is definitely something that is going to grow for you and last a long time. Oh, another card for you, Nine of Earth. These are two of your cards. Like I just said, wow, this is Venus in Virgo. Now, I have to tell you, Venus is not that um, comfortable in Virgo because Venus likes her freedom and having fun, you know, and 
Uh, Virgo is more reserved, uh, a little bit more responsible, prudent, you know. I'm not saying a prude, I'm just saying reserved. Um, but with the nine, now you're saying this is, this would be your nine of pentacles. All right, so we're saying we progress from the eight to the nine where things are starting to grow and this is really taking root for you. This is the financial stability and security you're looking for. This is some sort of a, a blessing of money to you, windfall. You're increasing um, your net worth, even if it's materially. You know, like someone gave you something like a car or they have a vacation home they don't want. Maybe you inherited something and someone passed something down to you, but you're surrounding by all these pentacles. So I feel for a time you're going to have some comfort financially and feel rooted and feeling safe. And there's a lot of gratitude here. You know, as she holds her hands cupped and this flower is coming from her hand, there's a great deal of um, appreciation for what's surrounding her. And I think her appreciation is bringing more of same. Remember, whatever you think and feel and send out to the universe, even verbally, it reverberates back to you. Complaining and living in lack will bring more of that. Complaining about your partner or how you're unhappy will bring more of that. Speaking good things, sending out love, positive vibrations shall bring more to you. And you know, like even seeing her eyes are covered here. So she believes without seeing. That's very powerful. She is creating in her mind. And you know, you start with the mental realm as Mercury rules you, right? So you're always overthinking, overanalyzing at times. And a lot of the air signs do that, even Gemini and Libra. But with this here, we have this mask on it. So it's like keeping her thoughts contained. So she is manifesting and creating this beautiful surrounding of her health, wealth, financial stability, solid, grounded relationships. You're grounded and stable. You know what I mean? There's no anxiety. You know, you have to be careful of that, Virgo. Digestion, ulcers, anxiety, depression, panic attacks. You want to keep that at bay. And I, I like this card because the nine is saying that's over now. You don't have to worry about that for a while anyway. Oh, nice. Queen of Air. Look at that wise, gorgeous owl. Look at that. So we know that the Queen of Air will be our... Gemini, we were just talking about Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So someone in your life is either influencing the situation or involved in the situation, male or female. Um, they are a bit aloof, maybe cool exterior. You might even say that they're sometimes hurtful and mean. What would they say? They can cut like a razor. Um, but they have, on a balanced vibration, let's say a higher vibration, they are honest people, they see things clearly, they're logical and methodical, which is a lot like you, okay? I'm thinking too, Virgo. Um, where you look for the truth of everything, and you're speaking the truth. In a higher vibration, we're saying this. So this queen could be someone who's speaking the truth and clarity with you. Maybe they're helping you with this situation, whether a doctor, a counselor, a co-worker, a boss, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, friend, husband, wife, whatever it is, this person could be the com one coming in. They have a lot of wisdom. And with all this white here, I'm saying they're definitely bringing a brand new energy in, purging the old energy for you and breathing new life into the ideas that you had that were stagnant in your life that was stagnant, your relationship that was stagnant, whatever that was dying. This is a, a you know that breath of fresh air coming, this clarifying wind that comes in and it's going to clear out all the dust from all the crevices of your life and who you are and the way you are living and breathing new life. Now, this is not going to be for everybody. It's a general reading. And if it doesn't resonate, you can look to your rising sign. But I'm going to let you know in a general sense, this could even be you taking on the wisdom and clarity of this queen of air. All right, and really uh, tying in your emotions because the queens are all water. That's emotions, but she is air. So this is mental and, and emotional. So you're getting a balance going on where you may have, may have been out of sorts for a while. But this help is helping you. See, once you get your grounding back, especially Virgo, you got your mojo back. When you get that grounding back and you feel secure, because that's very important for you, having security, then you can think clearly and freely without 
thinking the negative thoughts. So I really feel there's going to be a clearing for you, Virgo, that you're going to start to feel happy again. You see, you know, she's got that little smile on. She seems at peace. She's got the wisdom of the owl. This is even spirit. Some of you, this might be your spirit animal, your spirit totem right now. You know, especially this time of year. I know in the Americas, you see a lot of owls in this time of year, and it's synonymous with this time of year. So there's a clearing and a lifting going on for you mentally. You're at peace. The beautiful feathered headdress to me, again, like you can fly now. You don't feel trapped any longer. That's why I said something's changing big in your life, Virgo. Either you're clearing out dead energy of a relationship, clearing out dead energy that was in you. Maybe you're trying a new regimen of health, new medication, and it's helping you get your mind clear and balanced again. You're seeing better. You're feeling better. You don't have those uh, indigestion and uh, GERD and ulcers and, you know, or a lot of colitis, ileitis, you know, the irritable bowel that, you know, all the nervous system stuff that goes on with, with Virgos and anxiety. I really feel that you're coming into a state of health um, and you're facing each day wiser, clearer, and happier. And if this is a person coming into your life, this is, this is what they would bring into your life, this breath of fresh air, male or female, like I said. And they're influencing you or helping you one way or another. Oh, another, look at this magician. Now, look, this is Mercury. Mercury is your ruling planet. So we're really speaking to you here. You know, especially even this is air, that's your mental realm, even though you're an earth sign. You are in your head a lot, okay? So the magician we know, this is a new beginning. This is you taking your skill set and doing stuff with it. This is you saying, I know my capabilities and abilities, and I'm ready to wield them, to manifest my destiny, to make my life better. I'm going to make it so because I think it's so. I will it so. I see it in my mind's eye. I'm putting my energy toward this. This is an age of wisdom. This is not just a child energy like the page. This is a lifetime or multiple lifetimes of wisdom in the magician, in the higher vibration. Lower vibration, Mercury is a trickster, the rock star gone awry, you know, going cuckoo crazy. Okay, but with the higher vibrational spirit of the magician, we know that they clearly determined. You see, his eyes are determined. He looks dead ahead. He knows what he wants, and he's bringing it to him just with his thoughts, okay? So for you, it is a time of you honing your skills, okay, and putting them out there. So whether you're, like I said, starting a new relationship or healing a relationship, starting a new job, starting a, a new life chapter, like I'm, I'm retiring, I'm done with this, you know, or I'm going to travel. Whatever it is that you're doing, especially Mercury, is that of communication, travel, modes of transportation, this is the magician energy of making it happen and willing it so and believing that you can. Knowing like you know, like you know, it's going to happen for you. And that's very powerful energy. And with the one we know, you're beginning something new. You're entering a new cycle in your mental realm of a lot of healing. But you had to get here first. You had to get grounded. It's very important for Virgos. Just like Taurus and Capricorn, the earth signs, they need to be grounded. Once they're not grounded, it's just so sad to see them knocked right aloof and they, they have to get back up and get back into their grounding. And, you know, life gets in the way of you living your life and staying in that place. So I'm glad you get back on the wagon here. And this is kind of intervention from the universe when you get the major. They're seeing that you're struggling or that you've been working hard. And this is just the push that you need to make everything happen for you. So you're going to be entering into a situation in your life or multiple situations, fearless, wiser, and in control, balanced energy and making it happen for you in your life. So God knows what you can produce, right, Virgo? Each of you are different out there. Some are bringing a new love into their life, a marriage, a new home, retirement, healthy body, whatever it is that you could dream up, this is the card that's going to help you to make it so. Bringing things from the unseen as above, so below, meaning in the ethers, the unseen, manifesting into the physical world. That's what she's doing, manifesting from the unseen into the physical world. But you need a clear head and mind for that. Then you need to be grounded. So this is really speaking to you, Virgo. I hope it does help you and resonate. I know it's a general reading, but try and apply what the cards are saying to your relationship with a person or a thing in your life or what's going on with you. So I hope this does help. 
Have a Thanksgiving that's wonderful and happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate. If not, just have a great November, and I'll see you guys next month. As always, I wish you the best.